In best practice number six, companies factor trade compliance into their growth and expansion plans. That makes sense, right? But often that's not the case. New suppliers and new markets are often pursued without a compliance a component attached to it, and then marketing or operation are left to pick up the pieces after the deal are done. In a recent paper by Deloitte entitled Look Before You Leap, they strongly contended that companies need to understand all the implications before they implement a new international arrangement, whether that's a new supplier, whether it's a new business relationship, whether it's a new customer, whether it's an equity or a strategic partnership. Compliance needs to be factored in all the decisions to make sure that nothing gets missed because it could be a deal breaker or possibly put the deals on the basis of being viable or not. The companies that uh, were surveyed did their diligence at all points. For example, a major U.S. company on the opposite of this missed an export permit and as a result encountered a major fine that eroded and destroyed the profitability of the particular transaction. Why did that happen? Because somebody missed something really important before the deal was done and after the fact it got missed and it wasn't recoverable. So it had to come out of margin, which is exactly what you don't want as a CEO or a Chief Operating Officer. The companies that we surveyed did exactly the opposite. They linked compliance to brand and reputation integrity. And their motto is, do things right because people judge us by how we do our business. My question to you is, does your company's expansion plans or negotiations with new suppliers or customers anticipate trade compliance factors? If not, have there been any negative consequences?